but hard. <laughs> now this is the first video I've done for some time. And it's basically an extension of my cookery vlog that I did. And I was thinking about it and I thought, well, you know, we've got a family holiday next week. What we need to do is cook some bacalhau. And I think that's how you say it. Because in Portugal, that is salt cod. So today, we met the brigadier of the bacalhau, Luis Cruz. And he's, he helped me to select some bacalhau. And what it is, salt cod. Yeah. It's been cut up and they call it codfish. That is the exact trans and translation, but it's not codfish, it's salt cod. That is what bacalhau is. So, what I'm going to do now is soak it for three or four days to remove the salt because it's dry. And I'll talk more about it in the, in the next uh, vlog. So, anyway, I'm going to soak it and put it in the fridge and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But on Monday, we're actually going to cook this fucking fish <laughs> in. Some more career with the brigadier himself. And the charge. technique was the fact that we had to get a fat one. Oh, we had to get a fat We had to we'll, get We'll talk it, we'll get it's fat. <laughs> Gordo. We're gonna, it's gonna be fat. Yeah. A bit like me. Anyway, okay. Soaking next. Right, so it's for a family of six, and according to the brigadier himself, we should be using. I've not really handled this stuff before, it's really odd. Oh. This is the head. Uh. Headless head, by the looks. Well, of yeah, right. that's right. Nearly headless, headless neck. Is <laughs> a headless bit of cob. The wings and two lombo. Lombo. So we're going to put that in there. Look at that. And you've got to make sure when you buy it that it's dry. Otherwise, according to Lewis, you're paying for the water. Of course, yeah, you are. You so two lombo, and then we're going to have the, the tail and the wings. And, it, and it, he said you've got to put it in skin up. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we're going to put it skin up. Get so we're going to put it in here. Good student. And then we're going to we're going to change the water every... Twice a day. Uh, yeah, two days. So there we are, a bit of old whatever it is there. <laughs> I don't know, because we're going to take some of this down for the family. David, look yeah. down to your oh. right. Oh, the right. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no, Bob's There's looking very slant. excited. None for you, Bob. So we're going to keep this for the family. Yeah. And I we've think got, that should be yeah, suitable for... Yeah, we've got two for, lumbos, haven't we? Yeah, we've got two yeah, lumbos, that's, that's right, yeah. that's what Louis said. That's, that's fine, so we're okay. And here's a jug that I right, filled so, earlier. Uh, that's right, that my <laughs> wife with the hygienic water. Yeah. Uh, good old Samora Correa tap water, of course. And we're going to fill this right up with water. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but we'll... Um, and then I will reconvene when we're actually changing the water, which has got to be twice a day until Saturday afternoon, and I apparently can taste it to see whether it's salty. The Brigadier of Bacala himself is here. Luis. Bon dia and good morning, wherever you are. All oh, right, there we are. Fantastic. English is amazing. How's all the crew? I need to be doing there. potatoes. I used to do that to help my mum. No. Kids. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, he's here Thank for you, the potatoes, which is really cool. Uh, Bob is ready to pound for any, <laughs> any second, ready for any uh, scrap. So uh, we're going to get onto the Bacala very shortly, and we'll see you shortly. It's all about onions and garlic at the moment. So, we put some old onions in the bottom here, some chopped garlic, not very much actually, not as much as I'd put in, but like four cloves, big cloves. And then what, what's this one, Lewis? On the top. That goes on the top, yeah. But this is a fresh onion that you pick from Katia's uh, garden. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then red, one red. On the middle, and uh, then a little more of garlic on the top of the potatoes, on the, and on the top, of the top, the bacalhau. Okay, ah. right, well, we're gonna try, we're gonna have a go at that in a moment. Right, okay. It's a bed of potatoes. A bed of potatoes. And they are missing also the tomato uh, inside also. Okay, we're actually gonna do one more dish today, which we didn't expect. We're gonna do the same thing, bacalhau, but with rice, which, of course, you know, you love, you love rice. So, what do you do? Tomato, onion, garlic. Okay. Um, Loro. Yeah, Laura, which is the uh, uh, bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf. Yes, and when the, we go to boil the cod, and the, so we boil the water. Then boil we, the water. Once the water is boiling, we put yeah. the cod in to put the cod. In. How long for? Uh, a quarter. Yeah. What, yeah. Fifteen, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, to the rice, it's this in the pan, and we put the, the rice inside. Okay. With uh, olive oil also. Okay. 
And when the, the cod is done, we put the water in the rice to, to, to make it. Yeah, it's like, like a soup, it's, but it's like a sloppy, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. a sloppy rice. And then okay. to smash the cod in with, uh, little pieces, yeah. to put it, when the rice is done, to put inside the rice. Well, this sounds sensational. Right, so we're we'll, oh. And we put the coriander. Of course! Oh, of course. Cori coriander! Uh, yeah, coriander, yeah. yeah. What's it called in Portuguese again? Uh, Coentros. Coentros, okay. Coentros. Okay, so we're on. Two dishes on the go. So we don't take the lid off the pan. Lewis has the gas on full at the moment. Because it's boiling already and strong. So okay. we must calm it uh, down. Reduce. But before, he said really, I mean, we've done that for illustration, but you don't take the lid off. All you do, when you can hear it boiling, you yeah. turn it down to low, and then to, you, you just move it. To, like. to move, it's only like this. Oh, really? But not with the spoon. Ah, oh, okay. Right. So it's like rice, when you do the rice, you don't never take the lid off, you just leave it to. And then here, we've got the back of the hour as well. To the rice. Uh, we, we've add that, we've put that in the boiling, boiling water, and have okay. we used the arse here, or the okay. uh, or the it? the head? It's the head. Uh, oh. the, no, no, it's the head and the the arse. The, the no, the other part. Oh, more the other thin, part, more thin. And the more yeah. Th yeah, the thin is like a little thin piece, like the side wings. Right. So now we're boiling that in water, but the water's boiled first, yeah. and then we stick this in. Fifteen minutes. 20, Fifteen minutes. Fifteen twenty. Not minutes. boiling. Just, just like that. Ah, they're simmering. Not boiling. Not boiling. Simmering. You turn the gas off. Yes. It's just yes. in the hot water. Yes. Just to heat it through. Yes. Really? Not to dry the cod. Ah. You don't want to dry it out. You don't want to be a dried old cod now, do no, you? No, we don't. <laughs> and now, uh, Luis is actually going to illustrate how we wank oh. the cod. Now, the other one. Right, now. The raw, the raw cod. This is the raw cod, so just... And just not on, the right. Right. Now, I'm going to blush filming. I use that, that, that term advisedly, uh, but only on the advice of the brigadier himself. So just tell us why it's called that and what you do. Because apparently, just to start, what's you it take called? the raw... Well, it's, it, what's the, it called, this one? Punheta uh, de bacalhau. Ah, punheta de bacalhau. Which means the hand job of the bacalhau. <laughs> and you get take it raw without soaking it. Yes. And traditionally, you cut it into strips. And then every night you do this. Mesh like this, right? And all night, to, to take the salt out of the cod, you must do like this. One night and another night. And the third night, or at the day, we can eat it with a tomato, fresh tomato, and put the herbs the, the herb you like. Or Sandra? coriander. Um, Parsley or mm -hmm. um, that one, um, oregano, 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 yeah. oregano, oregano. Oh, you can put it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you think and you could rename it like washing, rinsing your hair? What? <laughs> what this? No, no, that's what it's called. <laughs> it's called the cod hand job. So that is. Now, I think it's fine. Now, can we can have, I see that again, please? Yeah, and take... We have to take the water, all the water out. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? You're it rinsing must be it? very dry, very dry. The salt yeah. out of the cod. These are, like I said to you, the cod uh, for uh, many years ago was the, the food of the poor. And so this is uh, recipes easy to do when uh, uh, the people are working on the land. Well, this is already done. Oh, wow. He's put some uh, peppers in as well. Were they already yeah, cooked the peppers? Yeah. Yep. I, I, I forgot to put inside it oh, okay. the first time, but uh, he goes to give a, a taste gift. It looks okay. like a celebration. Yes. So more ten minutes, it's done. Okay, great. We go to the right. Perfect. We've got a lot of confusion now because lots of people here, and we've got the girls are sniffing around. To do the rice, tomato, garlic, onion, and then. To the fire. To the fire. All, to the all fire. The while. The, the cruises. <laughs> Cheers. 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 So. Yeah.
We are. This is great. Does it feel like a proper party? Yeah. Family yes. celebration. Yeah. Bank holiday Monday. Main bank holiday. Labor Day here, of course. So the day of the workers. We're all working. And we're all here. We, we go to make Turricado bacalhau. It's uh, bacalhau and bread on the grill. Then we pass garlic on the bread and uh, a little bit of tomato. Oh, really? Olive oil, uh, hot with the garlic, then put it on the bread and the, the smashed bacalhau on the top of the bread also. It's done. You know, that's a hot barbecue. It's a hot, really hot barbecue. So what do you do with this now? You're just gonna grill, not too much. Okay. Uh, and then we grill the bread as well. Okay. We put these on the top of the, the top of the bread. This is Carolina rice. We got at the last Carolina rice festival. Lewis needs it. Thinks it's fantastic. It's not like uh, Valencian uh, uh, paella rice. It's a bit different. Smaller grain. Let's have a look. But yeah. It's meant to be. It's meant to be uh, boiled in like a soup rather than to used in like a as a side dish sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. okay. I get that. There we go. So pass the rice for this. I have to put a little bit of water. It's very strong. Now, now a little bit of water. Can you add water? Water off. Oh, the oh, the right. See, keep all the goodness. That's what my mum used to do. She used to keep Only that water bit. from the veg Only a and bit. use it okay. for gravy. A little bit. Now, we wash the, the pan. Oh, you see, that's clear. The rice. Dry, just straight in, like One, flint. Two. Three, four, three and a half. It's enough for this pan. And mix I've never seen with that the a little bit stronger. Now it's almost like doing the risotto. The risotto, yeah. It's almost, but uh, the risotto you must always yes. mix it. Yeah. These don't mix the rice. No. No mix the rice. Only now. Then we don't mix. Because remember, this is not risotto rice. This is uh, Carolina rice. Carolina, which is a Portuguese variety. And if you mix too much, it gets too uh, too creamy. Too yeah, creamy. too creamy. I understand. Yeah. Right. No. This is very cool. Not too it's a like it's almost fried. <laughs> you know, like it's the almost brigadier. Fried. The brigadier. Now, and we put Tiago. all the water inside. Okay. Oh, okay. We're going to put all of it. All of it. All the water now. Eh? Holy shit. Three and a half ends of uh, rice. Okay. You see? Yep. Three, Three and a half hands. hands. Yeah. I think it's not enough to that okay. rice. Okay. okay. We need double it. Uh, the double, double water for the rice. Does it need now, to be hot or cold? It's covered. It's okay. no, this, this is the water from the back yeah. So See, the water yeah. doesn't need to be hot or cold. Well, it's doesn't matter. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. Yeah. lukewarm. Okay. Yeah. It covers the rice, the water. We, res we reserve this a little bit. Uh huh. If we need, we put the rest. Okay. I think we have to put more. all the water and a, bit a more. little bit more. Okay. Yeah. To the wine. Okay. Obrigada. Thank you. Are you going to cover it? Now I have to to mix it. Okay. Only this time. Right. Once. You stir once. It's because it's on the bottom. See. Okay. No. So it needs to float in its flotation tank of goodness. Are you going to cover it with a lid? I think now Tiago's interfering because he said, are you now going to cover it? Like, this is typical Cruz. Like, he always starts saying, he's coming. Like, of course he's coming. We have to cover it. But Tiago now but is starting to preempt everything. He's starting to get involved in the cookery process. But sometimes we, we have what we have to do. It's to 
glue like this. Oh! Not so, oh. Not so rubber goes out. Goes out. Yes. We cover it now until it goes boiling. boiling. Okay, yes. boiling, yeah, okay. Okay, obrigada. And we wait a little bit and see what happens. Fantastic. Okay. Amazing. We're learning so much. The Brigadier. General. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing the barbecue. Torricado de bacalhau. Barbecue cut and the bread Charm. on the barbecue Charm. also. Uh, and then the bread goes to have a garlic and, and tomato. Uh, and tomato. Uh, and all of them? Then we smash the the bacalhau. Smash. Smash in the little pieces. Put on the top of the bread. Si. Then we put olive oil with uh, garlic. Uh, hot, hot uh, olive oil with garlic. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like garlic olive oil. It's very similar to um, Spanish. What do they call it? Darling, we ate them all the time in the morning. We had a um, toast. Uh, Tostada, that's it. Oh. Shit, the pen. But that's just tostada with olive oil. No, the tostada and it was with olive oil, garlic, yeah. and um, yeah, and tomato, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and salt, oh, lots of salt as well. Yeah, Sweet. smashed on. Great. Okay. This is great. Thank you, Louis. Oh, we, we have to clean so the take black off the part. Black. Does that it's taste? The skin, it's yeah. burnt yeah. in here, yeah. but the rest, it will be okay. Right. Well, we go to be tasted and the flavor of the grill. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, so here is the fish and rice with the coriander. Coriander on the top, raw. Now we close to take the taste of the coriander and the smell. It's done. And that's it, so it's off the heat now. No heat, so it's just no infusing. Heat. It's done. No heat. Infuso. Infuso, inferno. Obrigada. See you soon. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, Susan, we had an emergency. No one could find the bottle now. Okay. And uh, luckily, the emergency. Yeah. You broke the glass and removed the emergency the bottle. Yeah, yeah. We are. And Simon is doing it. I am. Right. Another green wine, uh, Vino Verde, actually. Is it, is it, is it this is Sabatello, isn't it? Yeah. This is Vino Verde, so it's from the north of Portugal. Oh, right. So there is red, there is rosé, there is white in the green. green wine region, in the Vino Verde. No. Yes. I didn't know that. I thought it was green, the wine. No, no. It's called green. Uh, the reason why it's called green is because it's the wine that is not matured. So it's like a... The, it's the... Ah. Yeah. Like a, like a Beaujolais Nouveau, yeah. for example. Yeah. The food of Campinos eat uh, normally at uh, the day at work yeah. in the field. It's easier to do without dishes and uh, nothing yeah. else. Yeah. Only the hands. Yeah. Nothing spoils. You all, all you need is uh, garlic, olive oil, bread, with it, which can be bread from the day before because it's going to be toasted. Toasted. But okay. on the on the grill, toasted on the grill. At the end, we have the uh, olive oil, olive oil with olive. garlic. And you better like garlic. Oh, yeah. Stunning. Just bring a toothbrush. So here we are. The family cruise. Obrigada. You're welcome. Banana. Yay.